Hey guys, and welcome back to Irma Sofra. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a classic wafer cookie called Oblande, so stay tuned for my recipe. All right, so to begin, I have my cold milk in a very tall pasta pot. You wanna use something tall and wide, and I'm adding my sugar to it. And then I'm gonna mix that until well combined. And I'm telling you guys, this is the easiest recipe because what you're gonna do, you're gonna mix this together. We have it right now in like a medium setting. I'm just gonna wait until that milk has heated through. Once it's heated through, I'm gonna lower it down to like a medium low setting. And you're gonna see what it looks like. I just want this to simmer lightly for two and a half hours. So that's the ideal kind of position that we want that milk and sugar to be at. Just simmering very softly. And you guys will see this is such an easy recipe. It's crazy because all you have to do is keep this on a simmer and stir it occasionally. Super easy and the results are absolutely amazing. So I've stirred this up a couple times um, throughout the hour. So an hour later, this is what it looks like. It's starting to get a little color. It's not there yet. Obviously this is a slow process, but just keep making sure that you're stirring it every couple minutes, just watching and making sure that the bottom doesn't burn. And of course it's on a low setting, so it shouldn't. And here is our caramel an hour and 45 minutes later. So the color has changed quite a bit. Um, we are just gonna keep stirring this occasionally. Um, I'd say every two to three minutes, just watching it. You don't wanna do something um, that's too far away from your kitchen. You wanna just keep an eye on this. Like I said, I have two pots going, so I'm gonna be showing you guys a traditional caramel au blonde recipe and what I do with cookies and coconut and chocolate too. Um, so you guys will be able to see and decide which one you want to make. And finally, after two hours and 20 minutes, it might take um, a little bit faster for you guys depending on the setting you're cooking with. I kept this at a low setting because I do have two little kids and I have to you know, focus on them and everything else. So um, I do it on a lower setting, but you can towards the end put it on a higher setting, but just make sure that you're stirring frequently and making sure that your caramel doesn't burn. Okay, so once my caramel is done, we got it to a color that we really like. I'm gonna add my butter to this and I'm gonna mix it until well combined. Now, if you wanna do it the old school way where it's just you know solid caramel in your old blonde, you're gonna mix the butter until it's well combined into the caramel and then you're gonna start adding your caramel to your wafer cookie sheets, your au blonde sheets. And then you're just gonna put something on top of it, something heavy, and you're gonna put it in the fridge or in a cool place for it to dry for up to two and a half hours. That's it if you wanna do it the old school way where it's just solid caramel. If you wanna do it the cookie way, keep watching the video. Now for the cookie and chocolate caramel filling, I have my butter melted into my caramel here. I'm gonna add two cups of grinded up cookies into it, mix it well um, until everything is combined beautifully, and then I'm going to split this up into two portions. Now, uh, one portion is gonna be my caramel coconut. It's gonna be in a glass bowl, and then right here in the pot, I'm gonna melt um, some chocolate into the caramel, and I'm gonna add some coconut until everything is well combined, and then those are my fillings. And I'm gonna try to work fast because you wanna do this and add this to your oblon de cora, your oblon de sheets, um, while the caramel is hot. That's the best way to do it. So here you guys can see, I'm just ladling it into a bowl, and then I'm going to start adding my coconut and my chocolate. So once I split up those fillings in half, I just eyeball it, it's nothing scientific. I just make sure that I have an even amount of chocolate and caramel. I added some chocolate into the pan and I'm gonna make sure that that's well combined and melted into the caramel and the cookies. I also added coconut, but unfortunately I didn't get that on camera. And all I'm gonna do is make sure that's well combined. I'm showing you right here, this is the chocolate that I use. It's my absolute favorite when it comes to baking because it's not too sweet. It's not like American uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips. It has a nice flavor to it. So that's done. I'm gonna then add coconut to my caramel filling that I split in half with that chocolate filling before. Make sure that is uh, well combined and then I'm gonna start layering it. And of course, I forgot to press play when I was layering my chocolate and caramel filling on my other oblande sheets, but no biggie because this is my traditional, this is the old school caramel. You guys can see how nice and soft it is and 
and smooth and absolutely delicious. So the key factor when you're making au blanc you just want to make sure that every single diamond is coated in your filling. And what I do is if I have it in a bowl or if I have it in a pot, I kind of take a spatula and I go down the middle of the bowl and I cut it into fourths and just make sure that every single layer has an even amount of au blanc filling. And no big deal if one layer comes out bigger than the other. I mean, it's going in our stomachs anyways and it'll come out delicious. But you guys will see that these are absolutely amazing. Now, once you've filled up every single layer, you wanna make sure that you put something heavy on top and you're gonna set these to cool for about two and a half hours, three hours until they are completely cool. Cut them up and you're ready to serve. And there you have it, you guys, my take on traditional au blonde. They're absolutely amazing. They're great. Your family will love them. I know you guys will too. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, add me on Instagram, and I will see you guys next time.